Hi, I'm Paul Spradley, and like you, I'm a parent, so I understand from firsthand experience the challenges of parenting. The Pittsburgh Child Guidance Foundation is here with help from some extraordinary partners, both experts and those with lived experiences. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this video series, Building Brighter Futures, Helping Your Kids Get Ready for School. This series was produced by the Pittsburgh Child Guidance Foundation. This nonprofit organization works to help children and teens who find themselves and their families in difficult situations. We want to help young people live their best lives, to be hopeful about their futures, and to know that they're not alone as they rise to overcome the challenges life has thrown their way. We know that to help children and teens overcome these challenges, we need to involve the entire family. Regardless of your circumstances, your children need your help. From my own experience, I know these truths. Parenting is hard, but it is extremely rewarding. We're all juggling a lot of responsibilities. As your child's first teacher, we want to remind you of the importance of starting their education as babies. With this Building Brighter Future video series, our goal is to help you find ways to incorporate good practices into your everyday life. Did you know that all kids living in the United States have a right to a free public education? That's right. Our Constitution provides that protection and requires that all kids be given equal education opportunities. This is one of the most valuable rights we all enjoy. In some cases, our children need extra support and attention. You'll hear from educators and parents about some of the best ways to advocate for your children. For example, Perhaps your child requires an individualized education plan or program, which is also known as an IEP. This is a plan or program developed to ensure that a child with an identified disability or is gifted is attending an elementary or secondary education institution receiving specialized instruction and related services. The first step in the process is for your child to be evaluated. Knowing about these rights is so important because if children don't get off to a good start early on, they run the risk of never catching up or of always lagging behind. We can't let that happen. Take action to make sure your children get the education that they're entitled to receive and that you're helping build brighter futures for your children. Oftentimes you'll ask questions and you feel like you're not getting the answer or you still feel like you're not understanding what is being stated. I say to you, ask questions, ask again, and ask again, almost get so relentless that you do not give up until you know exactly what you need to do for your child because you are your child's advocate. And in advocating for your child, you have to ask, ask again, knock on doors, continue to knock on doors until you understand the process, until you understand what needs to be done, until you are okay and settled with your child being in class and learning. It is so important for parents to talk to their child's teacher, to let them know what is happening so that the if a child needs something extra, they can always count on the teacher doing that. Um, sometimes parents tend to be a little bit more reserved and they don't really want to tell the teacher maybe what is going on. And I always encourage parents to do that. Parents really need to let the teacher know when something happens in their home life because that might explain if you're seeing something in the classroom, some new behavior, that might sort of explain what is going on. If a child has had some traumatic event happen in their lives, uh, the teacher can then help guide that child while they're at school. Don't stop. You're going to be told no. You're going to be told you're crazy. You're gonna be ignored, and you're gonna get frustrated, and you're gonna be angry, and you're gonna cry a lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, just don't stop, because that's your child. That's your baby. And at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you do everything in your power to make sure that everything is set for your child. The school is there to teach them, yep. Um, the police are there to help, is what they say. But at the end of the day, it's us. It's us. So nobody is going to take care of your child the way that you do. And if you are not happy with their class, with a teacher, with something, speak up. 
you speak up. And if they tell you no, you go somewhere else. You talk to someone else. Um, sometimes you have to get extremely upset and it still doesn't matter. As you find out who you need to go to, there's resources for all of it. And you want to get help because fighting for your child is extremely hard doing it by yourself. It's doable but it's hard because we get tired and you're doing it for a reason. So don't stop and get your resources together and get you a good team. And once they realize you're not going anywhere, <laughs> they'll make some changes. Like I always build relationships at the beginning of the school year. I know who my child is. I know, you know, what he's capable of and everything. He is on a behavioral IEP. And so that means that he doesn't have any issues with learning or anything. He's actually a straight A student. He just have behavioral difficulties that most likely get him expelled from school. And so the IEP protects him from that, from the expel, um, being expelled and gives other options individual education plan it's a certain set of rules and standards on how to educate the child the teachers and the principal and everybody is supposed to follow by these and a group so usually the principal school psychologists teachers everybody their parents sometimes the child if they're old enough they're all involved in a meeting with this meeting you just set up a set of standards on how to educate, how to deal with behaviors, what works, what doesn't work, and different things like that. Every year I, before school starts, I call a meeting with his teachers and principal and everything, and I just talk to them and I let them know who my child is. Nothing surprises me anymore. You can always call me, text me, email me, whatever. I give them all that information. Thank you, ladies, for the invaluable advice. We learned a lot about several strategies to help build brighter futures for your children. What we heard in this segment is, number one, your child is entitled to equal education. Two, tell the teacher if there's a home situation that could be distracting your child. Three, we all need champions, especially children. So be that champion and remember, a good start will lead to a better finish. Mm -hmm.